Okay, so now we're on to the last of the processes in the procurement management knowledge area in the sixth edition of the PMBOK here in the Crowd Trainings PMCD. So let's review the control procurements, starting with the inputs. Well, we have to know what was the plan as to what we need to control. So we need to look at our plans, and I like to draw it as a big file folder for our project management plan because, yes, it's going to have the procurement plans because Obviously, if we're going to control any plan, it's going to be your procurement plan, but also it is related to, say, the resources that you have or the quality and the schedule and all the other plans that you have that comprise the project management plan. So all of those are going to be inputs. Then, too, you're going to have a series of project documents that are also going to be referenced and used and those documents could be the schedule, it could be the risk register, it could be even the stakeholder register, it could be lots of different documents. And two, you're going to have to look at the procurement documents that you have been using up to this point. How did you decide to which ones to use, how to use them, what are they going to be for, and of course, our contracts, the agreements that we have. So not just the, the contracts, but all the different agreements that we have. It could be with our other departments. It could be with our other partners. It could be with our vendors, suppliers. All kinds of different agreements that we have are going to be as an input because, well, obviously, what are we trying to control and monitor and make sure that they're going as planned? And if not, what are we going to be doing to rectify that? And then... As always, we are products of our environment, so we have the culture and the designs and everything we are operating in, and that's our enterprise environmental factors. And we may have some templates and guidelines, so I'm kind of drawing a binder here. Uh, we'll call it the OPAs. It's our organizational process assets, so these could be very useful in helping us deliver this, maintain it, and you know, obviously monitor and control the procurements that we've used throughout this project. I did forget one input. Um, we have to look at how things are going. So whether or not um, uh, things are, are looking up, um, are they looking bad or good or different, and just kind of, you know, maybe even say here, here's a bin and here's all the work that's been done or not done. You know, uh, I'll call this done. <laughs> what we say here is the work performance data. So if things are going good, bad, and different, well, how does that relate, obviously, to the contracts and our agreements and what we're trying to do, you know, the plans and uh, the other documents? So that is very important. So here we need to use that information to make sense of it. You know, does it mean that, you know, things are trending fine or are things going to fall off a cliff and we have to uh, maybe do a change request idea at this point? And... Look at that. <laughs> I missed one more. Um, we might have changes that have come in. These requests, though, make sure are the approved change requests, and not just any change requests. But here, we're using those change requests and the data, but we have to analyze them. So we got to take a look and determine what does this mean? How is it affecting? What kind of um, control mechanisms do we have to employ in our project to make sure things are good. And so we have data analysis. We also have to inspect and look at things, you know, and judge and, um, you know, investigate uh, however we want to think about it, you know, just see how the project is going, how the vendor is working, how we're working, how the contract is working, all those kind of things. And we can also audit. And I actually like to draw this as kind of a, a looking back at the project and so I kind of draw a person looking back at how this project is going how w were we doing well or not well and lessons learned and and just especially if we can get an outside department like the procurement department to look at did we use the right contracts did we use the right supplier did we bid things correctly did we advertise it right did are we monitoring it and controlling it in the right sort of way. And also, we use our expertise, our, our knowledge, you know, whether that's coming from subject matter experts like procurement managers 
or those on the um, with experience. So this is my guy kind of thinking, <laughs> but expert judgment. And then sometimes too, there are going to be times where uh, there's a disagreement as to where or what or not what's going on in the contract and the agreements and the procurements and so there are going to be times where maybe we have to go outside what we expect and do some claims administration to to look at how things are going and try to uh, figure things out in that fashion all right those are the tools and techniques let's look at the outputs well all said and done we should have uh, everything final and delivered and filed and and everyone's signed off that it's done so we should have closed all the procurements so procurements as they close should be part of the output also too um, we had work performance data over here while well, on this side we should make sense of it and have it used in more formal ways so that's our work performance information then too as our um, procurement documents have been closing and worked on maybe the RFQs that we've used or the various different other documents should also um, <clears throat> have some updates to them and so those are our procurement document updates and other updates would of course be our plans our project management plans so I look at my file folder again my project management plan and that should be updated accordingly especially like if we delivered something or the vendor delivered it and they're closed or <laughs> um, we should no longer be billing or they should not be billing us in our project the various different documents then should also be updated even like I said there the schedule should be showing everything is concluded and then um, we might even update the plans and the policies and the procedures and the templates that we've been using our organizational process assets should also get an update and sometimes too beyond everything's updating and closing and the, the information sometimes things have got to change and in that case there might be a need for a request for change and so we are um, having change requests so um, <laughs> through my scribble here there are um, inputs of the project management plan project documents procurement documents the agreements the approved requests the work performance data not information that comes over here and uh, number seven is the in enterprise environmental factors and eight so there's lots of inputs here of the control procurements and that eighth one is the organizational process assets now your tools and techniques are your data analysis inspection audits expert judgment and claims administration and then when we get to our our outputs we have our closed procedures our procurement document updates PM or project management plan update project document updates work performance information organizational process a asset updates and our change requests and that is a review from the crowd training of the control procurements process in the sixth edition pinbox